morning, happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another week-ish in my life. <laughs> Got my smoothie, the dogs are in the car, my bags are packed, and we're headed down to Orange County. I was actually in Orange County over the weekend, but I had to come up for work yesterday on Sunday. I worked all day and kind of cut my weekend short. I've been trying to be better about taking more time off. The weather is beautiful today. My mom has a gorgeous little backyard and a wonderful pool, and I wanna get all the mom time in before I move cross country. So let's go down and have a Sunday fun day on a Monday. Why not, right? By the way, if you're new, I'm Shayla. Hi, I should probably introduce myself properly. <laughs> And if you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. We've got a lot of good stuff cooking in the coming months. I'm in the midst of planning a move from LA to New York. We've got spring upon us. We've got all sorts of good stuff and I would love to have you a part of my YouTube family. It's time to tackle this drive. I've got all my drinks. If you know me, then you know I'm the drink queen. Green smoothie, chlorophyll water, and lots of ice water and my new hydro flask. I know it's like a greenish yellow. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm usually a pink girl or a white hydro flask kind of girl, but I went with something fun and bright because I just need all the good positive vibes that I can get, you know? Last thing before I start this drive is my set is from Aloe Yoga and I have linked it below for you. I'm trying to be better about linking things too for you. Okay, let's go have a Sunday fun day on a Monday. Made it to my mama's house. By the way, this is her dog, Georgie. And Marcel. My mom just ran to Whole Foods to pick up some groceries, which is so sweet. I think we're just gonna hang out in the sun all day. Just try to have a relaxing day. Maybe do some self care later. I don't have a New York update for you yet. Hopefully I will this week though. I did put a deposit down on movers. You might think that's kind of weird because I haven't signed a lease yet and I don't have an exact move-in date, but I at least wanted to reserve a cross-country move in May. And a bunch of my furniture has been selling. My apartment looks so empty. I'll have to show you when we get back later this week. Just reached out to the building that I decided on this morning. And so he said, we're working on our lease renewals this week. So hopefully we'll have some openings popping up and you'll be hearing from me, so. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I'm so ready. But that's for another day. Today, we do some R&R &R and we spend some quality time with my mama. You end up going to grandma's house. Hi, Penny. Yay, she's back. Oh, wow, lots of love. <laughs> Let's do a little Whole Foods haul, mom. Okay. Okay. I got some sourdough, Yum. I believe. Oh, yummy. And this is pecan cranberry bread. Yum, vegan? Vegan, both vegan. Um, you open this one, this is for you. You're so sweet for doing that. I got you a treat. Because I love my girl. Uh, yummy, mango is my favorite. I got some Kalina. Ooh, you're good at this, mom. <gasps> Olipop! I got us some Olipops for the pool. I love Olipops, yummy. Oh, yummy, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's kind of fun. I toasted myself. <laughs> you gotta have some blackberries because that's fiber, girl. I love this brand of soup. We always get soup from this brand. It's vegan. This is the garlic. She My tried kale salad didn't turn out. <laughs> she tried to make the kale detox salad because I brought it the last time I was here, as you saw in my last vlog when I was here. And so I got her some of the ingredients from Trader Joe's and I told her how to make the dressing and she called me up the next day and was like, mm, yeah, mine was not very good. I'm like, you gotta get the right garlic. This is the garlic to use in that kale detox salad. It makes all the difference. The link for that is below. It's up on my blog and that is the accurate recipe for the salad and it is chef's kiss, so good. And we got the pool to ourselves. Yay. <laughs> Lucky us. Made some guac. Guac is always a good idea. Comment below if you agree. And we're doing shots. Ginger shots though. Hashtag healthy lifestyle. <laughs> cool day. I'm starting Atomic Habits. And I'm still trying to get through this book. It's not that it's not good. It's just that every time I start reading, I either fall asleep, my neighbor interrupts me, or something happens and I can't finish reading it. I can't leave you up there because mom's a crazy driver. She does drive like mad out of hell, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so it is not safe to leave you on the dashboard at all. Just being honest. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. 
welcome. You're welcome. Mwah. Fun little girls day. Want me to tap to pay? Good morning. It took me a little longer this morning to convince you to get up, but I did oh get God. her to get up as the sun was rising. She's relentless, people. To She's go relentless. On our Starbucks run. Cheers. Cheers. And mom tapped to pay today, like it was no big thing. I know how to tap to pay. Can you even handle these dog goggles? <laughs> decided to drive out to the beach and we're here in Laguna and we were just talking about how wild it is so beautiful. that this is where I grew up guys, Laguna <laughs> Beach. It is paradise here. Mom made yummy breakfast potatoes. Covering you with my thumb, don't worry. She said hair is bad, I said no problem, gotcha. Thumbs up. <laughs> Once again, we got the pool to ourselves. This is really good, Mom. Home from my mini midweek vacation of sorts. It's time to get my ish together. We're doing a major just day today. I have so many bags of things that I brought to my mom's and stuff I cleaned out of my car because I think I figured out what I'm doing with my car. The girls are so exhausted, but my room is looking so bare. I cannot even believe it, but we gotta give you guys a bath. I gotta get myself showered. Today has been a very productive day, although not very exciting to film. I've just been on the phone, on the computer, printing out documents, trying to organize some of my tax stuff, make appointments, the doggies got a bath, just shipped out some Poshmark orders. And now I'm going to try to head to Trader Joe's quickly. It's like 1.45 right now, so it's still pretty early. I've gotten a ton of stuff done. That's the perk of waking up at the crack of dawn. Meal prepped some kale detox salad for the rest of the week, rinsed and dried out my berries, got some groceries. Feeling just like a little bit more settled, although I have a ton more admin work that I need to do. I think I'm gonna do that in the morning. That is when I feel the most energized to do that kind of thing and I can just kind of bang it out. I kind of snacked all day, didn't really have a proper meal, which I normally don't do, but what happened. I'm gonna air fry some cauliflower gnocchi. I'm hungry. And other than dinner, I have nothing else planned for tonight. Mostly because I'm getting up early tomorrow to do admin work and then I'm shooting. The only other thing that I really want to do this evening is finish my book. It just got so good yesterday. I'm really close to finishing it. Air fried my cauliflower gnocchi, warming up some tomato basil sauce that I'm gonna just pour on top. I just air fried these plain at 400 degrees for like 15 minutes. And then I'm doing some steamed broccoli. And I'm gonna top my broccoli with this vegan Parmesan. It's seriously so good. And some of these pepperoncinis from Taroni, which is an Italian restaurant here in LA. And that is dinner. morning just finished getting ready because I'm gonna head out to go and shoot got up at four this morning no not with an alarm like I naturally just I'm waking up at this time I know it's crazy got caught up on my emails and got some admin work done and then got ready now I'm about to get dressed and head downtown to go and shoot some content with Patty but first I just felt like having a little avocado good healthy fats for your brain you know quick snack and then I'm gonna get dressed Am I the only one that eats avocado like this? 
Comment below. Sometimes I just wake up in the morning and I crave an avocado. First outfit of the day, I say first because we're shooting content, is this adorable set from Free People. I cannot even deal. It's so cute. I will link it below. It's not my normal pink, peach, orange, or neutral. <laughs> But I'm really vibing it. It's so cute. Let's go get creative. Home from a very successful shoot day. It is time to have a very late lunch. I am starving. I had too much coffee and not enough food. <laughs> I need to get some work done, edit those photos. And then we're going to Laura's for dinner. Is a few hours later now. I got some emails done, not everything, but I'll finish that in the morning. Now I am heading to Laura's house for dinner. She's gonna make something vegan. I'm so excited. I think Brittany's gonna be there too, which I'm very happy about because I have not seen her very much lately. I feel like I'm at this stage in my life where all of my friends and I are at different stages and points of our lives. And it's not like anything happened to the friendship. It's just that we're all in our own worlds if you will. Like Annie's married and has a baby and just bought a house and Laura's married with a baby and a stepson and Brittany, you know, just bought her house and she's remodeling and doing all this different work. And I'm over here like working on my business and trying to prepare to move across the country. And it's like, yeah, it's just a weird stage of my life. I just don't have that regular core group of friends that I spend a whole lot of time with. I think that's just part of growing up maybe. But anyway, I don't know why I just went off on that tangent. I just feel like I haven't spent that much time with friends lately. I think that's partly because of COVID too, but I'm excited for some girl time tonight because it is definitely much needed. video this week. I said that I was going to try and upload two videos a week for the next couple of weeks and I had every intention of shooting the aloe yoga haul. I even set up my little rolling rack. It was all ready to go and I realized that I forgot one of the crop top bras at my mom's house. So no extra video this week, obviously, if you couldn't tell, but I am going to try to have that be the extra video for next week. Hopefully you'll forgive me. Sorry about that. But yeah, just got up this morning, had a dentist appointment, got my teeth cleaned, no cavities. Love that for me. Then I came home and got some work done and I'm waiting for hopefully what will be an exciting call today. Updates to come. I'm going to do my morning routine now since I didn't get to it earlier this morning. And I just ordered some green juices from Joe and the Juice. Very gloomy out today, which is giving me just all of the chill vibes, which I'm kind of not mad about. Yeah, I'm just going to have a nice chill morning and work on aligning my energy with what I want to manifest. Okay, that's all. That's all I've got for you right now. <laughs> I have been picking this card so frequently. If you watch my vlogs then you know, this is wild. Where are you being called to journey to? I've read the book before in another vlog, but in case this is your first video of mine that you're watching, I'm just gonna go ahead and read it. The Celtic word Imrama means a journey of the soul, a voyage on which we don't know where we are going, but our soul knows the way. 
If you pulled this card, you were either being called on a soul journey or are already on one. It could be a physical, ancient place or metaphoric. When we journey places that our soul remembers, a shift takes place, both within us and to the planet as well. You are being called to journey to a place that is sacred to your soul. Perhaps it is a journey to the world's sacred sites or called to cross the country, climb a mountain, lie on the desert floor, or drink from an ancient well. There are places to see and old friends to meet. It continues on, but if you know, you know. If you know, you know the signs. The signs. I just know in my heart that New York is meant to be for me. And it's been maybe two months since I was in New York touring apartments. And you know, it hasn't happened yet, but I'm holding out hope and trusting that what is meant for me will not pass me by. I'm seeing the signs, I'm taking action on my part, and I have to keep the faith. I have to keep the faith and trust that what is meant for me is already mine. And it's just a matter of time but it's little signs like these ones that just make me feel like i'm on the right path time to journal i think the green juice just got here and i'm also kind of hungry i got those gluten-free and vegan frozen hash browns from Trader Joe's that are so good. They literally taste like they're from McDonald's, which is like one of my favorite pastimes, the hash browns from McDonald's. And so I kind of want to make that with maybe some like avocado or something yummy. I'm on an avocado kick right now and I'm here for it. literally freezing oh gosh the barefoot dreams robe is necessary although i do need to take the dogs out on a walk so i'm probably gonna have to take this off for that but for right now some packages came trying out a few new products first up are these soul cbd sleepy gummies i'm very excited about these they are vegan i'll let you know how these go i also ordered some of these hydration tablets i think the brand is pronounced Noon or None. I'm not totally sure, but I've heard really good things about them. And so I'm excited to try them. This is a variety pack. And then I decided to order some seed probiotics again. I used to take these religiously and then I ran out and I don't know why I didn't order them again, but I'm excited to start taking these again. I love seed probiotic. The container is glass, which is really nice. And then it comes with this little travel case, which I think is great too. Are you guys extra sleepy? I'm going to walk them right now, but honestly, when I get back, you know what I really want to do? I just want to get in bed and read. I'm done today. I'm exhausted and this gloomy weather just makes me feel like I have zero motivation and I think it's okay to honor that. So weird. The sky is like sunny and blue over here and then over here it's like completely gray and dark. The robe is back on <laughs> and it is time to finish my book. I'm so excited. The last couple of nights I've been so tired, but I literally only have 30 pages left. And I'm so excited. This is such a good book. I will link it below. I have absolutely loved it. Hello. Yes, this is she. can't find the right words to say this so you know what to be continued i'm i'm literally speechless and i need to process this thank you for hanging out with me this week omg oh my god i have to call my mom i will see you in the next vlog next sunday love you bye